everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the Browns going up against the Cardinals. So the time has come. Let's send you out to the stadium and join the two men that will have the Super Bowl call. Here are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Larry, we find ourselves right in the center of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex in Arlington at AT&T Stadium. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here between the Cleveland Browns and the Arizona Cardinals. I'm Brandon Gaughan. To my left is my good friend Charles Davis, and what a thrill to be here for the biggest one of them all, the Super Bowl. And it seems to get bigger every year. The lights get brighter. The cameras more numerous. I don't know. There's just so much that goes into this game. It's an honor to be here, isn't it? It is an honor, and I can't wait to share this game with you. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. You're my partner and my best friend. I can't imagine being anywhere else but right here with you. And just think about it this way. You mentioned the magnitude. This is no longer just a game for America or even North America. This is worldwide. People watching from just about every country in the world. This is impressive. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and just about ready to roll. The stage is finally set, and here we go. Super Bowl 57 is underway. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. carry now this is Johnson and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33 yard line give him nine on the carry that time and they're set up with a second and one what a way to start a drive an excellent run a tone setter and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top you can do so because you've established the run in a big way Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They go play action here on first down. Finding time. All kinds of time. He's going to sling this deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 
usually hitting a deep post pattern as we just saw there for a big gainer. That's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, start to get those guys creeping up wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a change up in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the change up, and on that play, it worked for big yardage. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Now a play fake here on first down. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. One of the selling points of the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver. And almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. This will be caught inside the 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. In the red zone this time. They'll try and run. This is Johnson diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone. They do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking in the end zone on a running play. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken at his four. They juked him. Oh, he shifts past him. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. give it here to his running back and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34 yard line three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down and a look at the offense that is hoping to put some points up in bunches here in this one decent chunk of yardage still left here second and seven They'll give it to him right up the gut. He showed off the athletic juke, but it didn't buy him a whole lot of real estate. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. And here is the Cardinal defense. Tyron Matthew has a cornerback's build with safety skills. The Honey Badger knows where the football is. Third down now following the run. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And oh, this is Peterson remaining down on the ground and apparently in some pain. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The Browns defense getting ready. 
And despite being down on the scoreboard, this unit, they've had some big-time hits. Sort of like us at practice the other day. <laughs> I saw you take a running start at that blocking sled. You took it down. <laughs> Bounced off like a rubber band. No, no, not at all, but you're exactly right. They are doing their job, but they want to add takeaways to it. You need to have more of those to go along with the big hits we're seeing. By the way, when I tried that and I bounced back, I noticed that you laughed with everyone else. You, did, you didn't try to get in my corner. No, no, no. Someone had just told me a joke on the other yeah, side. Right, I missed right. it. Totally missed it. They'll set up a throw. James has got it. Complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at the 40. It's a gain of 20 that time. And that'll be good for an Arizona first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense, they were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. Yeah, maybe a little of both. Third down, Johnson. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. I thought guys that were over 30 weren't supposed to run the football this well in the National Football League. How about that veteran leadership? A big time run combined with some nice blocking by his offensive line. Showing that the ins and outs of being a veteran still has his place in this league. His odometer is not totally turned over yet. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. And the big boys up front in the trenches, what do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Switch it up here and look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Back to throw. Deep drop. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. And tough starting field position here. And they'll run it here. And he's going to be taken down here at about the 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run. Just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, and you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Now back to throw. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, 
Any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. And the offense now will try to regroup after the sack on second down. An extra DB added here for the cards on third. Blitzer play coverage. And on the ground they go with a running back. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought... situation the Browns send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time returnable here from the 38 Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Cardinals, great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. Second down following the run. All right. All right. All right. Let's go! Back to the Here we go! Now a tenth carry for Johnson. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. The catch made by Miller. A gain of 32 that time. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. As we get a look at the defensive starters, the secondary, they're certainly going to need to be on their toes in this one. And you know me really well. Where do I start analyzing a game? From the secondary. And these guys have to be on point today. They're facing a high-powered attack. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. On the ground, this is Johnson. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Out of the gun now on third down. Under pressure and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. So one quarter down here in the Super Bowl. 7-0 is our score. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Head & Shoulders. Shoulders were made for greatness, not dandruff. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Cardinals in possession of the football. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. 
And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and the lead moves to 10 zip. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point, so no problems converting there. Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look, and look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That's a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard game. On play action, they'll throw. And he's going to be out of bounds at the 39. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. So the offense has it first and 10. gun and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45 five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five no that wasn't an explosive run that wasn't one that took it all the way to the house but boy for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game that's the kind of run they need hopefully to get themselves kick started out of the gun they'll look to throw and it's a short one here complete to his tight end and he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Having an effective short passing game, one of their mains concern coming into this one right there, able to hit the D with a quick strike and a first down. And you're able to put that into your game plan when you see that there's space to throw the football. A lot of defenses don't want to play press coverage or tight coverage. They'll play backed off, and sometimes those cornerbacks will bail out really fast and really get deep, and that allows you to throw the quick game underneath, and they took advantage of it. He's got time in the pocket. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. All right, here we go. Leopard! Leopard! Ah! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Over the middle to Smith. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. They have a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And now the Browns get ready as they head back out there. And last time out, they gave up the chip shot field goal, but obviously could have been worse than that. I think they felt pretty good about only giving up three. No doubt about it. Anytime an offense gets into the red zone, They begin the drive with Johnson, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. 
Wasn't able to get anything, no gain. Fumbled once already. Maybe he's being a little careful. Not necessarily on that play, but I'm sure that's in his mind somewhere. Oh, without a doubt, because protecting the football is job one for anyone who's carrying it. And that's exactly what he tried to do on that play. But it didn't gain him any yardage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage on this one, back to the 13. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. On offense, a guy that you want to have the best eyes on the field are your quarterback. So you can see everything pre-snap, and then, of course, as a play develops. On defense, oftentimes it's the linebacker. And on this play, his eyes took him right to the ball, and he made a nice tackle. And he's got Miller. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. That one goes for 36 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now a handoff. Johnson looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. The busy night continues for Johnson. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. So back-to-back -back plays here where he couldn't get anything on the ground. Now you face a third and ten and assume you're going to try to pass it, right? I would think so because you've tried to run the ball and really it didn't matter who got the ball in the play because there was no space to go. So that I think you step back, throw the ball to try and pick up the first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed-out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route-running savvy. They'll run it with Johnson. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Let's go! Boom! Land it! Looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Braxton Miller, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play, and just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Extra point try by Bailey. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some Detroit. offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, if some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And that's why defensive coaches preach swarming to the football. It's usually going to take more than one guy to get that big man down. And it did right there. Multiple broken tackles, but they eventually get him down. of a yard there and now second down with the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today they've got to think about changing up their play calling some screens some draws some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game you don't totally abandon it but you try and give it a little bit of help and the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So the offense puts the ball on the ground, but they pick it back up. Now they face a third down. Hurry up, here we go. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that's caught by Smith. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Now let's go! 319! They're on the counter now on first down. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Tackle made there by Ben Heaney. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Set, three, 19. Now back to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And those first downs do add up. The offense keeps the ball moving downfield and keeps their defense on the bench, giving them a chance to rest. So here we go, first and 10 now. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. A reminder, coming up at the intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Larry Ridley and the crew in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. to throw now on first down wide open receiver complete that one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks so an excellent throw and an excellent catch there zone coverage which means you just have to find the open areas in between defenders that's exactly what happened on that play zone now they'll look to throw he's gonna flip that out to the flat it's complete 
And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Defense sinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. Back to throw again. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. It looked like he might have had a window there, but the rhythm was just a little bit off. Again, he'll drop to throw. His throw caught at about the five. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. They'll look to throw again. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Devin Smith as the first half is winding down. And the Browns make some inroads here on that deficit. Yeah, yeah, you heard it, right? <laughs> exhale. The exhale. And I'm taking that from their bench because finally, right before the half, they find a way to get the ball in the end zone and get, get some points on the board. Maybe they can use that to kickstart them for the second half. Yeah, just to get something before going into the lockers. And now in the second half, they can just tighten. It's what they want to do. Tighten down everything they're doing, and it maybe explode at the right time. Travis Coons now to add the extra point. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. And all the defense has it. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. I remember when they changed the rule. And there's a lot of consternation, especially coming from the kickers. Okay, how is this going to affect things, having to kick a longer one now? Much more of a field goal attempt. And the defensive guys saw it as an opportunity to get more block. That's exactly right. There's more effort now. Before, when it was stamped down near the goal line, you would basically see guys just stand there. Yeah, not anymore. Now, those guys are going after it because not only can they knock it away and change a little bit of momentum, they can, get two points. They can pick it up and take it back for two points. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center heading out for the next possession. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, does that interception, even though you're playing while your team's got the lead, does that always stick in the back of your mind a little bit? For the best ones, it just upsets them that they did that because they don't think there should be any blemishes on their record. They think that they're way better than that. So your confidence gets tested a little bit. Being able to go back out there, maybe throw another touchdown, That'll tamp that down in a big way. Yeah, I can see he's looked pretty good to this point. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've arrived at halftime here in Super Bowl 57 as we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Cardinals are happy to be in front, and they'll look to play another solid half of football. The Browns haven't played horribly, but will need to improve if they want to win this one. All right, let's roll those highlights. Pick it up early in the first. 
They'll go with the run here. And this run goes for a touchdown. The Cardinals strike first in this one. About halfway through the second quarter, Miller is wide open, able to make the grab. And he ends up with their own 49-yard line. Later on the drive, Miller's got nobody around him on the catch. He caps off the eight-play drive with a touchdown. Lee throws to 17. Browns have it late in the second. Smith's targeted coming across the middle, and he kept off the long drive with the TD, closing the gap to just 11. All 